Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Sethi, back on the YouTubes. I'm loving it. I hope you guys are too. Today, we're going to be going into my Warzone class setups. I know a lot of you guys have wanted to see this. Uh, I get it a lot in my live stream over at twitch.tv slash scump. Get a lot of questions asking what's on my M4, what are on my different guns, so on and so forth. Let's just do a quick run through of my classes. I only use three. Uh, and I really only use two. I very, very rarely use this class here unless I'm playing like a squad or something and I want to snipe, which I usually don't. I'll pretty much use this one in solos and stuff. This one in solo. I don't use this one either. So it's really just this one and these two. So let's go through them. All right. So this is my solo class. I've been using it a lot more and I actually made some changes to it recently because of the way that people play solos. When they drive around in cars and don't get out of them, it's not very fun. So let's just first move into my MP7 attachments. First and foremost, we have the monolithic suppressor. I mean, it speaks for itself. The sound suppression is huge. You don't want to ping on the radar in Warzone. People are going to be third partying you like crazy. Damage range, obviously a bonus as well. Give you a little bit of extra range to do some better damage. The FSS strike barrel damage range again pretty big for submachine guns as they're not you know the longest shooting guns and bullet velocity again good for a submachine gun at long range no stock you want that movement speed and the aim down sight speed both crucial for a submachine gun you want to be able to out strafe your opponent outrun your opponent and out ads your opponent aim down sight so that's very important as well next the merc foregrip so the mp7 is kind of an anomaly when it comes to submachine guns i mean very rarely do submachine guns shoot as straight as this one and are as good as this one. I don't think there's ever been one in Call of Duty besides, you know, maybe MP7s and different games that are like it. Um, so in that case, I use the Merc 4 grip. A lot of people would say, why don't you use the Ranger? And again, you don't need that recoil control. You don't need that aiming stability just because this thing already shoots so straight. So I go for the recoil control over pretty much all of the aiming stabilities and the hip fire accuracy the hip fire accuracy being the bigger one of the two uh knocking down that hip fire a little bit and making a little bit more of a tighter zone makes it really really beneficial for you uh and a lot of different engagements so i prefer the merc foregrip over all of the other ones and then again stippled you get that aim down sight and sprint to fire speed both crucial for a submachine gun next the rpg you may be asking why the rpg the RPG is just really, really good for killing people in vehicles. Again, a lot of people like to end zone, just drive around in vehicles because it's hard to shoot them and it's hard to destroy them. That's why I opt for the RPG, just because it is a little bit better at taking out vehicles. Like if you combo this with a C4, you're gonna kill a lot of the vehicles that people are in and it's annoying. So I would definitely recommend having it. Next, EOD, obviously reduced damage from kill streaks, uh, explosive kill streaks, and fire, or non non kill streak explosive. Sorry, so like C4s, Semtexes, frags, proximity mines, you name it, anything explosive, it'll uh, protect you a little bit more from that. Ghost, this one's huge, probably the most important perk for Wars, Warzone, undetectable by, by UAVs, radar drones, and heartbeat sensors. The only ones that are really applicable in this case are the UAVs and the heartbeat sensors. You don't want to pop up in those. People are going to sprint at you. People are going to third party you. You know, you never want to be killed because you don't have ghosts on. Next is battle hardened. Reduces strength of enemy flashes and stuns. Those are pretty much the main two. Gas effects can be a little annoying sometimes, but you really want to reduce those flashes and stuns. Uh, Semtex, just because I like it, you could also opt for a C4 in this position if you want to take out vehicles even more. And flash grenade, just because I think it's the best tactical by far in the game. Or you can go with the heartbeat sensor. But again, if people are wearing ghost, it becomes a little bit iffy if the heartbeat sensor is actually going to be working for you or against you. Because if they have ghosts, you're not going to see them. You could run in somewhere and die because obviously they're not showing up. Next, again, this is my... Actually, we're going to skip this class. We're going to go straight down to my M4 class because this is one of the ones that people really want to see. Um... M4, I use the XRK M4 variant because the iron sight's a little bit better. So if you have that variant, I highly recommend putting it on. Monolith, monolithic suppressor, again, sound suppression. I mean, it's huge. Damage range, huge. Um, next, the stock M16 Grenadier barrel. So in this uh, place right here, in the barrel category, if you want to use the Corvus as well, they're both very similar. 
I just prefer the stock M16. It's a little bit better in my opinion, but they're both very, very similar. Again, pretty much just preference at this point, I would recommend the stock M16 or the Corvus, whichever one you prefer. Um, next, you guys, so you, I don't I don't have anything on in this. Obviously, my face cam's guarding it, so but I don't have anything equipped. Next, moving on to Ranger. Recoil control, aiming stability. Ranger is the best uh, foregrip for Warzone. It's just my personal preference. Again, you can um, definitely like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Experiment a little bit with these. The operator reco recoil control, the Merc recoil control, hip fire accuracy. I don't re recommend that one at all. Ranger is pretty much the the one that most people you'll you'll be seeing use uh, in Warzone. Next, ammunition, 60 round mag. I like to have the extra the extra shots just in case you get third partied just in case you're facing a full squad. The 60 round mag is definitely something that you wanna have in your arsenal just so you don't have to hit reload after that first guy that you down. You wanna be able to kill one, go to the next, bada bing, bada boom. Next, stippled grip tape. So this is where you can get a little bit, um, I mean, experimental again with your, with your class. I like stippled just because you can get that aim down sight and sprint the fire speed. It does help a lot. Um, granulated is another one that I would say you could use. The aiming stability and aim walking steadiness is really, really good. Um, and rubberized as well. Recoil control and aiming stability. I mean, the recoil control with rubberized is insane. Like, your gun's not going to recoil pretty much at all. Um, but I, again, like that little boost of aim, to, aim down sight and sprint to fire speed. So that's why I throw that on. Next, RPG again. Same reasoning as the, MP, or the MP7 class. Want to be able to kill those uh, vehicles and other things that are annoying. Uh, this class I actually have amped on just because it is faster weapon swap and rocket launcher reload speed. So you can see why I would want that. But again, battle hardened, shrapnel, all all viable third perks. And then again, I have EOD Ghost. And again, Semtex Flash Grenade. Next, moving on to this class. This is the same setup. Same uh, M4 setup as the one before. This one gets a little bit more creative. I mean, I have a heartbeat sensor on again. It's hit or miss. It can help, it can hurt. You never know. Um, the only real change I have in this one is I don't have my rocket on, so I took off amps and then I have overkill on. Overkill is so iffy, man. It's like if someone has a UAV, you know, you're just a sitting duck. It's, yeah, I would only recommend this class if you're gonna be playing squads and stuff like that. I mean, I just, I just wouldn't use it again if you're not playing squads if you're playing solos i would not use this monolithic speaks for itself sounds pressure and damage range huge on a sniper uh the hdr pro these barrels i really don't see being used at all uh this one's just damage range bullet velocity recoil control you know it just hits on pretty much everything you need so the two point or 26.9 hdr pro the optic we're going to be using the thermal i know please don't roast me a lot of people don't like the thermal but it's too good not to use in warzone it's just, it's so much easier to use than these other ones. You can also go with the thermal dual power scope if you want to be able to change that magnification uh, on your targets if they're shorter, closer, further, you know. Uh, but I just use the regular thermal. Next, you can't see this, but I have the FTAC Champion. I like the aim walking stability and aim walking steadiness. You don't really need a stock. Uh, you could all you could honestly swap this stock with like a sleight of hand if you wanted to But I just like to have that aiming stability and aim walking steadiness if I am strafing against another sniper And then last but not least the ammunition nine round Just a couple extra bullets Nothing too crazy there But yeah, I mean those are my classes. I really don't use that many for warzone um, I mean if you're looking for classes, there you go Again, I, uh, you don't need a lot. You only need a few that you like. And those are my three that you'll really ever see me using. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the class setup video. I hope that they help you out in your future games. Uh, hopefully you use them and enjoy them. If not, it's cool. Use whatever you like. Uh, I always say personal preference is a lot more important than using, you know, whatever everyone else is using. But let's just take one last dip here into my stats. Because I know you guys probably want to see these. Uh, I don't really play Warzone as much. I'm trying to get into it a little bit more now that I'm starting YouTube back up. Uh, if this will load. So I'm at 1,552 kills with a 4.83 kill death ratio. Average kills being 14 per game. Wins, we're looking at 30 wins with 79 losses. So I'm really, you know, I really like my, my ratio here. Um, 
I don't have that many losses, but I have a decent amount of wins. So again, trying to work on everything a little bit more. Uh, solos is probably going to bump me down a little bit, but again, it's just trying to have some fun. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like. Let me know what you guys are using. If you would change anything on any of my classes, if you've made it this far in the video, just let me know, you know, anything that you don't see me using or you don't see it being useful at all. Just let me know. But thank you guys very much. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next video. And as always, this was your boy, Heavy. Bye.